Hi everyone, Michael Beresford here from Open Corp, here for today's Property Wad. What we're going to be talking about today is land tax. So surprise, surprise, the government finding another way to, to uh, take, some of the, uh, take some of the money out of our pockets. Um, but land tax is, uh, while it's a fairly simple concept, calculating it can be a little bit more challenging. So what land tax is, it's an additional tax um, separate to stamp duty that you pay on an annual basis based on the amount of land holdings that you have, um, separate to your own home. Okay, So the, the value of your own home, your principal place of residence, is not included in land tax calculations. That's the, that's the good news. Now, um, like other most government taxes, it's not necessarily a simple thing to calculate. Basically, across the different states in Australia, they have different calculators and different thresholds and different rates of land tax. Okay, so um, to keep it simple, um, we're based in Melbourne, so Victor the state government of Victoria's policy is that any land value separate to your own home up to 250000 worth. Now, this is on the rateable value of the land, so if you look at the uh, council rates notices, what they say your, uh, your land value is, that's what it's based on. And up to 250000 then it's land tax free. Once you go over 250000 of land value, then you start to have an annual land tax bill. Okay? Now compare that to, say, Queensland. And in Queensland, the threshold is much higher at about 600000 Okay, But once you get above that threshold, then you pay land tax at a higher rate. Okay, so um, as you've seen from previous WADs, Cam and Al um, talked about the importance of holding properties across different capital cities so that you're getting exposure to more than one growth cycle every seven to ten years. Um, that's definitely a major reason to do it. Another reason to do it is to make sure that you're avoiding land tax for as long as possible and spreading properties across different states as well. So um, anyone that's got all their eggs in the Melbourne basket for argument's sake is paying a bucket load of land tax whereas they could be avoiding that by having those properties in different, uh, different states, different locations around Australia. Um, I won't try and go into the detail of how to calculate it. Um, there is a really useful tool out there, I'm sure you've heard of it, it's called Google. Um, put in there um, land tax calculator Victoria for argument's sake or land tax calculator Queensland and for those of you in Melbourne, uh, you'll see the State Revenue Office website will have a calculator there where you can put in that amount and it will tell you how much land tax is payable. All of the same thing applies for the other states. So uh, there you go, guys. Quick 101 on land tax.